Hello everyone. Uh, in this video, we're gonna go over uh, drawing 3-1 mounting plate, discovering AutoCAD 2017-2020. Uh, both books have the same uh, drawing. Um, in this video, we're gonna um, look how to create uh, this shape using layers. Also, we're gonna uh, change the line type. We're gonna use fillet, we're gonna use chamfer. Um, so let's get started. The first thing we need to do in AutoCAD drawings, uh, the first thing we need to uh, make sure to study the dimensions carefully and set a plan and strategy to complete the drawing. The first thing here, we have a drawing eight. We do have 6.5, uh, we do have five, and we do have several circles. Um, what, what we know here that the, the four holes, uh, the diameter, which is here, this symbol means diameter. So the diameter is 0.5, okay? Also here, the diameter 0.5. So be careful when you uh, draw the circle. Either you can choose a circle with um, center diameter, if you put with radius, so be careful that this is not radius, this is diameter, so you need to multiply the number. Uh, again, the same thing here for the fillet. When we enter the fillet, uh, this is 0.25 the diameter, and for the fillet, we're gonna use radius, so we need to use half of this number, okay? So let's get started. The first thing, uh, it's very important in AutoCAD to uh, draw using layers. So let's look here. Uh, at least for this, we need two layers. Uh, one to draw the lines and the circles properly, you need to create more layers. Let's create two layers for now. And one for the dashed lines. As you see here, we do have dashed lines. We need to change the line type. If we're putting the dimensions, also we need to uh, put another uh, layer for dimensions and another layer for text if we are creating. In this recording, we just need to create the lines and the circles. Let's get started to create a layer. You go to uh, from the home tab to layer properties and uh, you click on a new here. And here we need to uh, draw uh, the lines. Um, we can create the leave it white if you want, the line type continuous, okay? And um, you can hit comma to create a new layer on your uh, keyboard. And let's make another one. Let's make it circles. And I'll give it another um, color from here. Let's make the yellow. Okay, here, here you go. Now, if you need to create another one, so you go there and here we need dashed and uh, change the line color. Let's make it red. Okay. And the line type, what we needed is dash one. If it's not there properly, if you didn't use it before, so you have to click on load, uh, click on the line type that you want, then okay. Okay, then it will come here, then you can pick it up. After we uh, got our layers, we need to set one that we need to start with. Let's make the line current. So you click on it and you click on the icon here, the one that had the green check, and you make it current. We've done of creating our layers, let's close. Be sure always to save your work. Um, we can, if it's already saved, you just click save uh, from the top of the floppy disk or control S. If you need to save it for the first time, you click on the A, then you click save and uh, navigate to the location to save it. If you need to save another copy, you can always go to save as to create another copy. Now let's get started by creating the lines. Uh, you can do this drawing in several strategies. I'm gonna use one that I will start from outside, then use offset to offset the lines. Now, what we have, the current layer is lines. I'm gonna cl click on line or L enter if you're using the command line. Now you pick any point there, okay? And here at this point, you need to make sure that 
you have ortho mode or just make the reference lines um, on okay let's make the ortho mode to get some uh, horizontal lines at this point we need to put eight which is uh, the other one specify now we need to go up 6.5 then we can go pick that point using the reference lines and close i got the reference lines because here we have the object snap tracking on if this one not on you will not get a reference lines so make sure you have all snap and reference lines uh, on all the time if you need to keep uh, the reference lines up now after creating this i will move on uh, to create the other lines and i will use offset at this time so click on offset the distance here is 0 0.75 so i'm gonna offset this line um i'm gonna put the offset distance 0 0.75 okay then it choose the offset and choose the direction here you go choose the same thing here you need to uh, get the line and the direction then you pick the line and the direction now as you see these lines here are that so i need to um, escape now select these lines by using any selecting methods and move them to the dashed ones as you see here the dashed lines are there now if if for any reason you don't have these dashed lines like dash and you need to change the scale always remember that you put the lts to modify the scale of the lines here my scale is 0 0.03 if you have it more like if it's one look at that if it's one it's gonna be like solid but actually it's not solid but the lts is big i gonna repeat 0 0.03 okay and here you go so we do have the dashed lines escape now i need to make offset another offset uh, to this line uh, inside the distance here is 1.75 so i'm gonna make offset again uh, 1.75 enter here you go i need that one inside and that one inside now here we have offset this distance here is one so you're gonna use offset again and the distance now is one so i'll type one and here you go i'll get that line up and that line down i finished these lines i will move on to um the circles and to drill these circles now let's try uh doing the circles here we have four holes the diameter is 0.5 so we go with the circles center diameter pick a point be sure here to pick the correct point by using the object snap okay uh, you don't need all of this but make sure you have the intersection okay probably you need the end point the midpoint this is some of the important ones to have so let's repeat that circle center diameter pick this point make sure you are on the correct layer and here the diameter 0.5 and hit enter i could repeat that or use copy i'm gonna make copy okay copy I will zoom in here. This circle, enter from the center because I have object snap on. I can copy it center to intersection. Make sure that you are uh, using the right point. I'm gonna use another circle, center diameter, and this time I will draw these four circles. Four holes, diameter, is 0.75 okay so center 
0.75. Make sure you are drawing with diameter. Copy. And this. Right click or enter to accept the selection. Now choose the point that you need to copy. Okay, so we finished drawing this one. Now let's draw the circle in the middle. Again, I have the diameter which is two. Circle, diameter. Now to choose the center, we can use the object snaps and the reference lines with the object snap tracking to get the center. You click on that, type two, hit enter. Now we finish the circles, we finish the lines. Now what we need to do to create these lines here, right? Okay, now let's move on to the lines. And at this point, we need to do some offset. Uh, offset, and the distance here is one, because we do have 0.75 and the radius here is 0.25, so this distance here is one. Now, I'll accept this distance and choose that here and there. Again, this here and there. We do have lines from top, this line down, and you pick that line inside. Finish the selecting. Now, as you see here, we do have some lines coming from the center of the circles. Okay, and here the same thing from the center of the circles. What I will do now is um, draw lines from this point to this point. Also, enter this point to this point. Enter. And here we will do the same thing. This point to this point, enter. And this point, enter. Again, line from the center to this point. Okay. Now we finish that. Let me just remove here. Okay, we finished these uh, lines over there. Let's do some uh, lines, some more lines here, probably just to make it easier. So draw a line from intersection, enter, from another line, from intersection and above. Also here, line from the center, of the circle okay now let's do some trimming trim 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 okay after that we need to do some trimming and cleaning up here. So let's get trim. If you're using AutoCAD 2021 version, so you don't need to do anything here, rather than cleaning up, okay? Um, however, if you're using previous versions of AutoCAD, you might need to use select all at this point uh, to complete the trimming. So I'm gonna trim all of these lines and I will do the same here. And you can zoom in, just make sure that you are uh, trimming uh, the correct lines. Even these lines we don't need here. We can, uh, just zoom in and out to delete them. After using the trimming, we are almost done of this drawing. We just need to use fillet and chamfer to complete the drawing. Here are the fillet. Let's see, let's zoom in a little bit 
we do have uh, the fillet uh, 25, um, point 25, 16 places. Okay, so that again is the diameter. So we're gonna use the fillet and choose radius. And the radius here is half of 0 0.25, which is a 0 0.125. Okay, so 0 0.125, which is half of this diameter, half of 0.25 and uh, then you hit enter. We need to make sure to select the lines correctly. So let's zoom a little bit here. Okay, we do have up and down. So we're gonna use that one and that one. Hit enter, then this and this, enter. Okay. Uh, this and this, enter. Okay, we need to um, actually do all of the corners. And here we do have also this and this, enter, this and this. So you finish uh, all the lines. Okay, uh, we have a couple more. Just be sure that you are uh, choosing the correct ones. And here you go. I think here also. And uh, the rest, they are chamfer. As you see here, the difference between chamfer and fillet. Let's zoom in. The fillet has some uh, uh, edge, which is, um, as you see here, this is a line, which is chamfer. This is a curve or arc. So this is fillet, okay? The chamfer here is 0.5. 50 or 0.5 and 0.5 and this is the line here the radius as you see here we got the radius from um, the diameter which is half of it half of 0.25 which is 0.125 and um, let's continue using chamfer and the chamfer you can find it right under the fillet here you go and the distance here you can uh, select the first line uh, the distance here is 0 0.5, okay, and uh, 0 0.5. So now what we need to do, select the first line, or you need to uh, select, let me just take that spotlight out. Okay, so here you go, you just put uh, that one over, okay, you hit enter. Then you put uh, the other two and you hit the other two here. Enter and just put the last. Okay, and here you go. Um, again, uh, there are several strategies to do the drawing and when you complete the drawing, uh, you just need to make sure that you use um, the lines command the circles uh, line types correctly we do have several layers we don't have extra layers we delete any extra layers do not use numbers or layer one or something give each layer a name uh, to to modify the um, the line type scale you just put lts and hit enter uh, this is some of the important things uh, i hope you've learned the new skills in this exercise uh, looking forward to work with you again in the future. Thank you.